Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about uh, how to compare the linear functions, uh, uh, how to compare their graphs and equations. Uh, we are going to compare their slopes and y-intercepts in general. So we are working on IXL Algebra 1 S15 compare linear functions, graphs and equations. So uh, in this assignment I believe one function is going to be given as a graph, the other one is going to be an equation. So sometimes you are going to compare their slopes, uh, their steepness. Sometimes you are going to compare the y-intercept of the two. So let's get started with this first question. Function a and b are linear. Which statement is true? We are comparing the slopes of the given two functions. Which one is greater? Which one is less than the other? Okay, so slope is about the steepness of the graph or in general rise over run so you when you pick two points on the graph like here and this point you should be able to find the rise over run uh, from one point to the other I need to go up three units and then right one it's up three and then right one so rise over run for this is positive three divided by positive one which is just 3. That's the slope. For the second one, so since we know that this is linear equation, linear equations are in the form of y equals mx plus b, right? m is the slope, whatever number you have right in front of the x, that's your slope. So this number here is my slope, so the slope equals to positive 2. Whereas the other slope that belongs to function A was positive 3. In that case, function A has a greater uh, slope than function B's slope. That's what I'm looking for in the answers. Function A is going to have a greater slope. Slope of A is greater than the slope of B. Okay, that's going to be my answer. Okay, let's submit this. It's another slope question. Let's just... And uh, I'm looking for a y-intercept question. Let's see if there is any, actually. I'm not sure if there's going to be a y-intercept question. Let me see. Okay. Once you skip a level, when you are around, like, 32 points on IXL, you're going to start having, like, these y-intercept questions. Hopefully. So, the y-intercept is pretty simple on the graph. It's what you see on the y-axis, the point that you see on the y-axis. Right here, the point is negative 5, so that's the y-intercept. Equals negative 5. It's also called the b-value. Okay? They are the same. And in here, on the left side for function a, Remember, the general form is y equals mx plus b. So the number being added in the end is the b value, is the y-intercept. So right here, it is y equals 1x plus 0. There's no number added. So you can just put plus 0. That plus 0 is the b value you have. So b equals 0, or the y-intercept is 0. Again, they are just the same. So, which one is greater? The one on the left is greater because negative 5 is less than 0. So, in the answers, it should say something like the y-intercept of function a is greater. The y-intercept of function a is greater than the other one. Okay. So, let's skip one more level to see if the questions are going to get any harder. Okay. Yep. Now, let's check this one out. We are going to work on the y values. Okay, this is not about the y intercept. When x equals 3. Okay, got it. So if x is 3, what's the y value for function a? If x equals to 3, what is the y value of function b? That's what we need to figure out. So go to, like, it's very easy on the graph, pretty simple. So go to the graph on function A, go to x equals 3. It's right here. It's right on the graph. So you don't need to go up and down to reach to the line. 
So this point is 3, 0. So for function A, the number is 0. Let's figure the number out for function B. So it is y equals x. And the x value is 3, right? So plug it in. You just got the y value. You don't even need to solve it for anything. It's already solved because there was no number added in the end. So y equals 3. Now which one is greater? So function B's y value is greater. A has a less value than B's y value. Let's see. The y value of A is greater. That's a false statement. The y value of A when x equals 3 is less. Yes, when x equals 3, the y value of a is 0, whereas the y value of b equals to 3. So this is going to be a little more complicated than the others. So I want to do another question like this. Let me see. This is not hard at all. So I'm looking at... Trying to see if there is... Okay, let's do this one, and then I will find another question like the one before. Because I think this is about comparing fractions. I'm not perfectly sure, but let's see. So we are going to compare the slopes, right? So the slope of this uh, function A is from this point to that point, C, the rise. So we need to rise 1, 2, 3, 4 unit. So up 4, and then right 3. That's the slope and it equals to 1.3 repeating. That bar on top of the number tells you that the number is repeating. So over here, that's the slope. Remember, mx plus b, m is 1 over 2. When you have the slope intercept form, the number in front of the x is the slope you have. So it's 1 over 2. And if you divide these two numbers, that's 0 0.5. Which one has a greater value? The first one, function A, has a greater value. So that slope is greater. The slope of A is greater. So that would be my answer to this question. I'm trying to find a question like, if I can, come on. Because that was harder than these ones. I'm trying to see if I can get another question like that. Okay, let's let me answer this question to see if I can get another question. Okay, great. Okay, this is the last one for this assignment. So, the y value of function a when x equals negative one. So, figure this out. When x equals negative one, what's the y value for a, and then when x equals negative 1, what's the y value for the p? That's, that's what you need to do. Okay, for the graph for function b, uh, if x equals negative 1, negative 1 is right here, and on th it's already on the graph. I, I was trying to find a point where this one, uh, find a question where the point does not lie on the graph, but I, I don't think I can. So let's just stick to this. So uh, that point is negative 1, 0. I just want to show you something real quick. Let's say the line was this. Okay? It was passing through this point. And in that case, uh, for x equals negative 1, the y value would be positive 5. Just keep that in mind. You might end up with that sort of a question. So it's not like negative 1, 0. It's not, the y value is not going to be 0 all the time. So if the line is not passing through that point, that exact point, you need to go from that point up there and then to the y-axis. Okay? So let's just take this back. Okay. But now this is what you're dealing with. For function b, the y-value is 0. For function a, you got to plug it in and then figure it out x equals negative 1. Plug it in and see what you'll end up with. 3 times negative 1 plus 1. This is negative 3. And if you do plus 1 to that, you get negative 2. 
So negative 1, positive 2. In function A, the value is 2. In function B, the value is 0. So the value of function A is greater. Okay, what did I do? Mm. What did I do wrong? I don't think I did anything wrong. Negative. Oh, that was negative 2. Okay, I see what I did wrong. Okay, y was equal to negative 2. It wasn't positive 2. So this was supposed to be negative 2. As I had the negative over here. So that means the uh, y value of function a is going to be less than the, uh, the y value of function b. So let me see if there is any other kind that I can do. Okay, I think we're all good. Okay, yeah, that's it for this assignment, guys. Please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, comment below if the video helped you out with your assignment. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video.